Right guys, something a little bit different for the page. Um, I'm going to review this reel. Purely because when I was looking into getting this particular reel, I couldn't find anything on YouTube um, that gave a decent review as such. There was a few videos, um, looked like American videos, where they was explaining how they've done a static mag conversion to them. Um, but anyway, I wanted this particular reel and I was concerned about because I hadn't seen it in person, I was concerned about the size, whether it was going to be quite a big reel. And uh, long and short of it, it's not overly big at all. I think this reel was actually designed for boat fishing, um, jigging more so. But I know a lot of the boys over the west side of the country use this because it's got a fantastic retrieve on it. The retrieve is 641, which accounts to basically a meter of line for every turn of the handle which is going to be fantastic over kelp beds and rough ground you know you need to get that lead and your, your rig up off of the bed quickly and get it back to you um, and i have used it and i've got to say it is a fantastic reel very smooth and the retrieve is awesome um, there's no mags on this it does have a central fugal brake inside and you've got your spool adjustment here. Although playing with this here doesn't seem to make much difference. Um, for instance, if you're familiar with like a Mag 4 525, when you slacken this off, you can actually move your spool up and down and then you tighten it and you can feel this movement here actually reduce. We well, can't actually feel too much movement. So I'm not sure if that actually has something to do with how the centrifugal brake works in the inside, but having a little play around with it, casting it, I've got it nice. Uh, very happy with it. I can actually cast further with this than I can with my Mag 4 525. Um, so yeah, it's a good looking reel. And like I said, the, the reason I really wanted to do it was to give myself, a, well, give you guys a bit of a size comparison. So I've got a pen 525 Mag 4. So if we do a little size comparison for you now, you can actually see it's very similar in size if not pretty pretty identical in size really it's not that much bigger although you can hold a lot more line on here this the actual spool is a lot deeper and is slightly wider than the 525 um, so 14 pound line 0.32 you're going to be getting about 450 meters which is about 490 yards 20 pound line 0.45 you're going to get 270 meters 300 yards and if you're going up to 25 pound line at 0.5 you're going to get about 210 meters now i've been using a 20 pound line on there because i used it for when i went out on the taupe in wales and um, yeah, it, it is fantastic. I'm very, very happy with it. It's the quality, the smoothness, the actual feel of all the components is night and day over the pen. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a good reel um, with the magnetic brake as well. You can really dial it into how you want. Um, now, I know a lot of the guys get them magged aftermarket with, you know, such as Chris Macy and stuff. But for me... I don't actually think I'm going to get it magged. I don't think there's any need. It's out of the box. It's doing a fantastic job. Um, Gavin said to me he wasn't too sure on the handle when he first looked at it. It's a nice big ergonomic handle, but it fits nice and it, it does the job. So in the box, obviously, you get your, your normal bits and pieces. You get a bit of gump. And you do get your tools bits and pieces and as you'd imagine a bit of a bit of gobbledygook that nobody actually bothers to read so yeah um the next part of the video i did take it down the beach and i put it on a tip tornado graphics super sport 
uh, super match sorry which is a very small diameter rod so the next part of the video will give you a good idea of um, how it actually looks on on the rod and i only do an overhead thump um, but yeah absolutely flying so my recommendation is if you want something similar size go get it absolutely fantastic reel and uh yeah i'll plumb the next bit of the video over the top of this one right guys so now i've brought you back as such to show you what this reel looks like sat on a rod um again what i was trying to get at is not actually an overly big reel to have it's probably about the same size as a fathom uh gavin's just going to put up next to it the uh pen 515 just to give you a little bit of size comparison to that one now these don't have uh, mags there's no mags on them they're essential fugal brake and you can adjust the spool tension on the side here uh, got to say very user friendly haven't really had any issues with them yet um, really happy with them cast a dream not sure you really need to get them mag to be fair uh, the retrieve is quite outstanding for every turn you get a meter return so they're going to be fantastic over rough ground uh, especially if you're fishing over kelp or anything like that because uh, you can get it up off the deck and back in really quick nice smart looking reel ergonomic handle yeah really really happy with them um, like I say I didn't really have much to go on when I was looking for them, how they was going to sit on the rod size-wise. I was a bit worried that they was going to be a bit too big, but they're not. They're, they're a nice size, and that's the 30 size. Um, so, yeah, basically, just a little bit of a video of them actually sat on the rods. The first part, you would have seen me unboxing them and uh, giving you a little sort of run-through with them. So. so, yeah, that's my very quick little review on the... Uh, Saltist 30H. Right, so I'm now going to just have a cast with it and show you guys how it casts. Um, I can't pendulum cast. I am just a good overhead thump. Seems to work really well. Um, I'm actually using that Saltist on a Century Tip Tornado Supermatch which is uh, quite a uh, pokey little rod. Uh, we are just got a two hook clip down and uh, I'll pass you over to Gav and Gav will just see if I can uh, give you a demo of how it sort of throws itself out there. <laughs> Turn the brake off a little bit, as you can see. No real overspool tool, just a little bit, and we're there. Really smooth, really nice wheel. Really nice. So there we are, yeah. The Daria Saltist. 30H.